How was our enemy today? Yeah, I'm good, thank I'm good. you. How are you? Yes. I'm as you look wrong. Yes. Nice, isn't it? You look like Father Christmas. No. No, I look like that. Uh, what's the name of that? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Oh, uh, window. Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. Window Daniel, I was going to say. So, um, How was your uh, intake from the YouTube? You know, the one I produced the public. Oh, we need to show it. Yeah, you remember you. Yeah, I think people were. Are you filming me now? Yeah. yeah, people, yeah, I think people were very negative. But I'm going to say to you that on my channel, Apologetics London, you can see. Christian, Christian, not Christian, Christian. Wrong yeah, so, and you have to ask yourself objectively if people have the truth in them, do they should they really run like he like he did like God does? I know it's a very destructive for me too. Um, you should ask him actually. He's a little bit. All right. Any negative thing I defended you anyway? I don't know if you read me. Yeah, I did. Um, you know, what about it? He came last week. Yeah. Last week he got one from us. He ran from Sarah. And yet you have so many people idolizing him. But the question is, like, I'm not talking about a normal person. Let's say you're, you're a public speaker. You're a teacher. I'm doing it him. Okay. Let's say you are. Let's say you're a public speaker and you're a teacher. So I'm not talking about a normal person who goes about their life, you know, up to you. you know, I'm not saying you should have so people in the region, but you're a public speaker with hundreds of thousands of people that watch you. And on God Logic's channel, he puts video like I destroyed Muslims, I demolished Muslims, humiliated Muslims, and yet when three people challenge him, he runs. How can these people be honest if they run? It's very difficult. He ran from my friend Sarah. I just think I couldn't come. You know, Sarah? Anyway. If you want, you can film this while Sarah is difficult. Yeah. 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 Where is the cross hospital? So, Mr. Bachi, insult him. Can I have a conversation? Because I don't care about God. I don't care about it's not my dress. I don't care about it's not my dress, okay? I'm attracted to women. I like women. I have a dress. I'm not. You're going to be a man. You're going to be a man. You're going to be a man. You want to have man horse, and that's why you're yelling at my face. Okay, so. Leave it, leave it, John. I mean, what is it with these gay lords with no life coming to me? Can you explain to us? Now, you know, we sort of are in the truth with him to be honest last week about what we're talking about. Can you explain? Because it was very difficult to explain when this uh, idiot was talking to you. Uh, about the, the, the special logic. mind here. Can you explain to him about God logic? Oh, to, uh, to his, you know, so, for us, look, God logic does not believe in the gospel of Satan, right? right? God logic believes in something called the human. It's the anti Christianity. It's the idea that Roman Catholics and Eastern Orthodox are truly Christian. The issue with this is that the Bible tells us in Exodus 20, verse 5, that you cannot serve that statue or bow to We cannot be idolaters. The Bible tells us in 1 Timothy that if one does serve these idols, we should not we should depart from them and we should not serve evil. Galatians 1 8 9 tells us specifically that if anybody has another gospel, let them be a curse. The gospel is this that Christ died for the ungodly so that they may be saved. Not by their own deeds, not by their own works, but by his plenary justification of our sins. Okay? So there's nothing I can do to be saved. The Roman Catholic Church teach that if you do not believe in the papacy, then you're outside of salvation. The Eastern Orthodox Church teaches if you do not believe in veneration of icons, then you're outside of salvation. These are contradictory to the gospel of saving grace. And this is why they're not Christian. Okay? And that's why we need to, as Christians, make an evangelistic effort to talk to them as well as Muslims as well as atheists. Everybody needs to hear the gospel of saving grace. And it's our hope that people come to Christ and truly have salvation from him. So what do they say in response to what you just said? 
Um, multiple times they've sent a response to what I'm saying that I'm a sectarian devil, which is hilarious. They've not actually responded to anything I've said. They've said I'm sectarian, they say I'm separating the brethren. But I believe that the, the church, according to the Bible, is Christ's body. Christ's body cannot be separated. So I'm not separating the church. What do they claim? The what, is, what are their claims? Okay, so their claims are that the a Christian are those who believe in Jesus Christ and affirm the Trinity. But that's not what Christianity is. Christianity is also a set of principles, right? The Bible is the, the holy word of God. That's what it says in 2 Corinthians 3.16. It's God breathed. That means every precept in the Bible must be affirmed. And that includes, of course, what Paul the Apostle says. When he says anybody has another gospel, let them be a curse. Okay? So we must stand on and hold to the word of God to be Christian. It's not enough to just say Christ is king. Okay, that means nothing. You have to believe in the gospel of saving grace. And the only way you can do that is not through the Roman Catholic or Eastern Orthodox Church, but through the true church of Christ that you enter into when you're born again and when you truly follow Christ's teaching. All right. So what do you propose? Okay. My proposition would be is that if you're a Christian of Antis, it is it is optimal for you to preach the gospel of saving grace and to depart yourself from Eastern Orthodox and Catholics, right? And if that you're coming down here and evangelizing to Muslims or atheists, then you should do due diligence and also evangelize from the Roman Catholics. And the, the ultimate proposition is this, is that you either follow Christ and you are born again or you do not, okay? We can't be in and out. It's, Christianity is not arbitrary. It's a system of religious acts as well, and that includes following the scriptures of Jesus Christ. Our, our faith is a Jewish-based faith, understand? So because our faith is a Jewish-based faith, and because the Jews themselves follow the, the teachings of Talk. We ourselves are, are called to follow the scriptures that come out. And if you go against those scriptures, then you are not Christian. It's as simple as that. Okay. So, what's your conclusion? Oh, that was my conclusion. Oh, I thought you were recommending something. Oh, what's your recommendation? Do you want to sit down and talk with them or? Do you want to we, we've done it for, I've done this for four years. I've spoken to various members, for example, Bob I've spoken to. I'm saying privately. Privately or yeah, yeah, privately. I've known Bob for about four years. In my life, right? What and was his response? So, his response. His response is like he decides not to talk about it. Even when I'm speaking with a bug, when I'm talking to him, he decides not to talk about it. He so said what's I'm his separate. reason? What's his reason? His reason is, is that I'm breaking up the perfect and I'm talking about tertiary issues. Okay? He calls the gospel tertiary and he calls prayers to saints, prayers to Mary, secondary issues. But I believe, and the gospel tells us that they're primary. If you do not have a right gospel, then you don't have the right Christ. Okay? The Muslims believe in a Jesus Christ. Okay? The Hindus believe in Jesus Christ, but they obviously don't believe in the one of the Bible. So the question is, if the Bible gives us a perfect interpretation of who Jesus is in our religion, then so should the doctrine be believed as well. That's what's So no solution, no compromise here, but no, with you and them. The only compromise would be is that they believe in the gospel and be born again. That's the only compromise. So I take it this will carry on as it is. We will continue to target, when I mean target, we will continue to have conversations publicly with Islam. Roman Catholics and Ecumenists until they repent and believe in the gospel. Oh, thank you very much. We'll pass your message on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Amy, as well. Thank you. Thank you.